Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been quite a long time since I've put anything up. Been a busy uh, summer, fall, uh, with camping and weddings and all kinds of stuff going on. So it's time to show you what happened last night. And as you can see, there's snow. We got snow on the ground and got a new driveway. The new driveway's in, much bigger. Problem is, now that it's much bigger, gotta, gotta clean that driveway. So I have a plow. Not that I'm gonna use it on this driveway this year, but I do have my father-in-law's driveway to plow, which is like a half mile long. So I'm gonna get this and put it on my Duramax diesel. That's kind of repetitive right there, but <laughs> my 08 Chevy Silverado. Uh, and when I bought this truck back in 16, it had a plow on it, but I didn't want it. I told the dealer, I said, just take the plow off. I'm not gonna use it because I don't have a driveway big enough really to plow. It's easier to do it with a snowblower and now I got the tractors and whatnot, so. But, what the heck, I got the plow. I might as well put it on. So in order to put this plow back on the truck, first thing we're gonna have to do is mount the receivers where the plow slides into back into the uh, undercarriage here. I had put on these hooks. So you can see it was cut out before for those receivers. I put the hooks back on, so I gotta take the hooks off and put the receivers back in, bolted to the frame. Now, the other thing is they took all of the wiring off of this truck. So the module that controls it, um, any of the power wiring, uh, the light switch, the, the swap over. So when you put the plow in, plug it in, it switches over from the regular lights to the plow lights. So I gotta put all that wiring in. So the grill has to come off, the lights have to come out, and the harness will get on. There's three, three harnesses basically. One's power, one's control, and one's lights. Um, they all gotta get wired in. So I'm gonna work on that. But I just wanna show you what it's like. I gotta start off on this first. So I just, I just gonna start, start taking off a bolt here. I'm like, well, I better record this since I haven't done anything. So again, the grill, the lights, everything's gonna come off. And then I'll work on the, the receivers. And yeah, I, I waited, of course, till this cold day, coldest day this uh, this season, uh, mostly because all the wiring just came in. So we'll take a walk. I'll show you all the wiring that's got to go into this. And this is uh, the, the tractors are all nice and dry and and warm. Well, I wouldn't say warm, but it's going to the garage. Garage I've got going. The pellet stove. So right now inside, it is. 60 degrees and that's just off the pellet stove and I've got it on on medium right now here's all the wiring there's a lot so you got a, a solenoid you know one of the power wires off the solenoid got to go to the battery you got the battery hook up so this goes out to the plow like that and it's got that cover on there right now um, the four or three it's actually a three port module it's a three port harness even though it says four port on the instructions it does both but that's a three port harness and then the lighting hookup you gotta tie into all kinds of places and in back into the lights so this is gonna take all of two or so days for me being that it's cold i'm gonna want to warm up quite a few times but I have my wire diagram and I highlighted all the different harnesses. As you can see, there's quite a bit that's got to go on. So I'm going to do this in a multiple series, maybe three or four series. Uh, series, I guess you want to say it. Um, so I'll do my best. I'm not really going to video too much as it's happening, but I will do my best. But this is the beginning of it. I am an amateur at putting in a snowplow wiring kit. So you'll see 
what I screw up and what I don't. And in the end, hopefully it works. So, with all that said, uh, let's see if I can turn this thing around. No, I can't. So, anyways, so wish me luck and I'll see you in the next episode.